You want to learn how to use Shotcut to zoom in and then zoom out. We'll stay tuned. We'll do it right after this. You will need some basic video editing skills to, to pull this off, so let's get to it. As you can see, I've opened up Shotcut. Yours should look similar to this. I have a short 13 second clip which we're going to use. I'm going to drag that down to the timeline and now we're just going to watch it for a little bit. You can see it's a basketball hoop and what we want to do is we want to zoom in on that basketball hoop but it's not in the center so that's where we can use Shotcut to help us zoom in. So let's go back to the beginning. I'm going to play it for about three seconds. I'm going to split it and I'm going to create the zoom in clip well, for maybe about what up to 10 seconds there so we'll have about a, a seven second zoom clip I'm going to split it right there so this highlighted area here is what we're going to zoom in on so to do that we're going to have to go to our filters click on my filters tab hit the plus sign and again it's rotate and scale type it in it should come right on up and there you can see right here it's at a hundred percent I'm thinking about 250 percent zoom I'm just going to manually type that in and you can also drag the slider right there but as you can see when I zoom in at 250 percent it's not centered so we got to take care of that so to do that we have to enable keyframes so you just want to, what I do is I go to view, I click on it, and I'm going to scroll down or come down to keyframes and click on it. And there's my keyframes right there. You can drag it anywhere you want. Some people like it on the left hand side. I like mine on the right hand side. So this is my keyframe right here. So this highlighted area is this right here. So now I want to zoom in. So see these circles up top here on the left and on the right? That's the time it takes to zoom in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in over about two seconds and then I want to zoom out over about two seconds approximately. So now let's play this clip and see what it looks like right now. All right, you can see the zoom in, but my basketball hoop is not centered, and then you can see it zoom out. So what we need to do is get that centered on the zoom right here, right in the middle. I wanna put that basketball hoop right there. So what we have to do to do that is right here, when we come to zoom in, you wanna scrub it to right about there, right above on that circle. You see the X offset and the Y offset? Well, we want to click these little bells, these keyframes right there. And now what we want to do is you want to drag these, these sliders. Let's start with the X offset. So I'm going to drag this till I'm at the center, right about there. And I'm going to use the Y offset to put it right about there. So basically, I am centered right now. But before we do anything, we have these keyframes right here. You go to right click on it, and I change mine from discrete to smooth on that one. We're going to come to the Y offset, right click, go to smooth on this keyframe, right click, smooth, and so on. So now if I play it, there that looks good there now we're zoomed in and now we're zooming out but you see on the zoom out you get those black bars so we're zooming out right now see the black bars here on the left side and if i continue you'll see some on the top right there that looks kind of ugly so we got to get rid of those so here to do that I'm going to place my line right over that circle where we start to zoom out. And I'm going to reset 
this. So you have to remember these numbers, 639 and 115. So I'm going to reset, reset. I'm going to type them back in. 639, 115. All right, I'm going to make sure that these are smooth. That is. Double check this one. The keyframe is smooth. That is. Now we need to go towards the end of the video or this keyframe clip. You can see this. We're towards the end of this clip. I'm going to all the way or just about to the end. See the black bar here? We don't want that. If you scrub here, we got to get rid of the black bars on the left side and on the top because that looks ugly. So I'm going to go right about here towards the end and I'm going to reset these again. I'm going to double check, make sure they say smooth. And they are. Okay. Now let's play this. Zooming in. Now we're zoomed in. And we're going to zoom on out. And there's no black bars. I'm going to try it one more time just to make sure it looks good. It's zoomed in. And now we're going to zoom it out. You know what? That doesn't look half bad for a quick tutorial. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to render this and we'll look at the finished product. Well, here comes the zoom in. Pretty clean. The zoom itself. And now the zoom out. You know, not bad. That wasn't so hard now, was it? If you found this video helpful, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing. As always, I will see you in the next video. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.